Did you have any idea what it was beforehand? No, um, before Edward was born, um, I'd never heard of GBS or Group B strep at all. It was never mentioned in any of my um, medical appointments or um, my NCT classes or anything that you prepare yourself for having a baby. And so when was it noticed the first time? Because I know that you had a 34-hour labour, very difficult labour, under general anaesthetic uh, for a C-section. Mm. Um, and, uh, and so when, when, when did they realise it? In, in this process, when do they realise that something's not right? Well, it wasn't until Edward was actually born. As you say, I had an emergency C-section. It was under general anaesthetic, so I was actually asleep whilst mm. he was born. And I woke up to the news, your newborn baby is in intensive care fighting for his life. He's got brain damage. And the reason for this is an infection called Group B strep. And I really didn't understand how an infection could have caused this. You know, you think of an infection being a sore throat or, you know, some minor ailment. And it is for adults. But for little babies, it's life-threatening and ultimately lethal in Ed. Edward's case. Um, and you then have this, this very uh, heartbreaking decision uh, as a family to make and it was nine days after he'd been taken to the, after he'd been born that then after the MRI, MRI scan showed that there was, there was, there was no help for him, he wasn't going to survive on his own and you had to make the decision to, to turn off the machine and your little boy, your firstborn was, was gone. Yes. Due to something that, as you said, you'd never heard of. I'd never heard of it, and I later found out it's entirely preventable. A simple test could have saved his life. Absolutely. Uh, a simple, a safe test that's freely available and provided in many other countries, and yet in this country, the NHS just do not offer it to pregnant women. So what time, when would you have had that test? How would it have worked? So um, the test is carried out 35 to 37 weeks mm -hmm. pregnant. It's very safe. You find out the results. If you are a carrier of group B strep, as many women are, you're given antibiotics in labour to help the baby fight the infection if, if he does get it. And in most cases, the baby is perfectly fine. Dr Chris, so for anybody watching, um, you hadn't heard about it. A lot of people haven't heard about it. What is it? Well, the situation is a shambles, it really is. But uh, group B strep, they're, they're bacteria that... Um, live on your body harmlessly. Uh, one in four women carry it in the vagina, one in three in the rectum. Now, this is causing no harm at all, but um, in pregnancy, during the delivery, as the baby comes down the birth canal, it can pick up these bacteria, which in fact don't affect most babies, but some babies will be affected by it and develop this infection of group B strep. So. So that happens, the infection, once that baby's born, that infection happens very quickly. Very quickly indeed, in certain babies, and we don't know which babies will be affected or will not be affected. And, and, and the effect of this infection, you know, it's the, um, the commonest life-threatening infection of newborn babies, the commonest. And yet, it's not been mentioned to mums in antenatal clinics. I mean, you know, Fiona's story is not unusual. Nearly half of antenatal clinics and hospitals do not tell the women about Group B strep.